Alright, so let's go ahead here and sculpt our fish here, fish six. So you can see where we have our um, base manipulated into the the forms that we need. I think we need to just do a little bit more adjustment here. Um, that was definitely a little bit too large. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get that done. Let's go ahead and uh, pull out our fin here. So we'll go ahead and just paint our, out our masked area here. Okay, we'll invert that mask uh, the same way. Go ahead, just use our move topological brush here. Go ahead and pull this out. This is definitely going to be uh, a little bit more complex of a shape to go ahead and create. Let's redynamesh that out so that we can manipulate that a little better. Okay, let's go ahead and pull out our bottom fin here. And you can see that we're using six completely different um, body types for the most part in our base you know, fish mesh actually works with all six, which is, you know, what we're really shooting for here. Um, you don't want to have a base mesh that you're not going to be able to manipulate into uh, any complex shape, especially with a fish or um, any, you know, mesh in general. You just want to make sure that you have that base geometry that you're going to be able to manipulate um, into any sort of shape that you're going to be um, required to go ahead and do and you can typically do that with the you know the move topological brush as well it just makes it much easier and much more um, simple to go ahead and do that okay so I'm gonna definitely have to pull this off to the side just a little bit more um, because it's gonna be a little bit weird here if I don't Let's go ahead and dynamesh that out. And we can probably thicken that up a little bit. Oops. Just making sure that we clean up the inside portion of the fin there. Let's go ahead and bring back our image here and we will go ahead and pull out our fin here for the bottom oops and that was inflating sorry about that go ahead and dynamesh that smooth back where it's connecting to the body Okay, let's go ahead here and clean this mesh up a little bit. Might have to fatten up here on the side. Go ahead and dynamesh that. Okay, let's go ahead here and remesh this real quick. So tool, uh, geometry, dynamesh, go ahead and turn that off. Go ahead and remesh, turn the adaptive off. Okay, so there we get a decent poly mesh but I want to go ahead and cut that in half once okay so this level is um, fine with me jump up to subdivision level three here and probably even four and we'll just jump down to three and make sure that we go ahead and delete the lower here okay so we only have two levels of subdivision instead of four turn our image back on and let's go ahead and start with our gill here. And we're only going to be, you know, doing one here. We're not needing those two. All we need really is just the um, the one because this is still cartoon, so it doesn't necessarily have to be so realistic. But you should try and at least maintain that silhouette of the character. So let's go ahead and mask out where we're going to paint in that gill. Okay, let's go ahead and turn our image off here real quick. And let's go ahead and invert our mask, grab our clay brush, not the clay, um, base type clay. Go ahead and sculpt that in there. Go ahead and smooth out the front of it.
go ahead and draw the mask here for the behind it so that we can pull that in. And we're just going to pull that in with the move topological, uh, the same method here. And I'm just going to work my way through here. And you don't want to, like I said, you don't want to rush through here. Um, you just want to make sure that you, you know, are able to get these done somewhat quickly. Um, but don't rush yourself. You know, definitely take your time because when you start rushing, then you know the work's going to suffer. So go ahead and inflate that up a little bit there. Go ahead and jump up to subdivision level three before I smooth that so that um, the smooth is going to hold that shape a little bit better. Okay, and I think we should probably fatten up this fin here on the bottom. I think this is a pompano fish. Um, I could be wrong. Or maybe even a Jack Russell. I do believe. And that's not to be confused with the Jack Russell Terrier dog. Because fish definitely don't bark. Um, so let's go ahead here and turn our image back on. Our Jack Creval. Let's go ahead and mask out our eye there. Go ahead and invert that mask. And we will throw in our eyes real quick. Okay. Go ahead and clear that mask out. Go ahead and smooth that little bit of pinch there. And let's go ahead and manipulate our eye shape here. And I think we should probably uh, maybe maintain that eye shape just the way it is here. Um, we don't want to make it so so round. So let's go ahead and subtract some of this geometry here. Go ahead and smooth that out. And let's go ahead and append some geometry for our eye here. So just a Z-sphere. And we're going to go ahead and scale this down. It definitely has to come down a decent amount. And we'll go ahead and pull this into the model. Throw that into the eye socket there. And I think for this one, I want to try to give them a little bit deeper eyes. So maybe we won't pull out so far here. And you definitely, whenever we um, go to render all these out, I'm going to show you. Um, you definitely want to give the, say, if you have somebody that's going to be viewing these models and giving you, um, you know, critique and feedback on them. This way you give them a, a bunch of different variations. So, you know, later on if they say, hey, you need to go ahead and do a fish like this, you know exactly what to go ahead and do. And it's going to be that much easier to go ahead and create those. So let's go ahead and throw our clay here. Just clay up a little bit. And we will smooth that out. I'm going to have to pinch this a little bit here. Okay. And we can go ahead and move that up because that's a little bit too uh, small for an actual eye. We'll just go ahead and push this back a little bit. out. Okay, let's go ahead and open our eye just a little bit more here on the bottom. Throw in some clay for this as well. Just to try to fill that hole back in um, a little bit, not too much. Smooth that out. Grab 
our standard brush here making sure that we turn that lazy mouse off and the intensity down okay we'll go ahead and mask out here grab our clay brush our clay build up and we'll just build up around the eye here just smooth that out. Just the back side there. Okay, go ahead and invert that. And we're gonna go ahead and inflate this a little bit. Okay, so now you can see where we get that shape to maintain. Take our Damien standard here. And just refine this shape a little bit better. And we'll jump up a subdivision level. And just smooth this out a little bit here. Let's take a look from the front here. So I think we should go ahead and uh, pull our nose in here. So let me go ahead and just mask this area out. Because that's the area that I don't want to touch. best to smooth that out. Okay. So it's looking a little bit um, maybe weird in terms of the eyes, but that's okay. Uh, we just want to definitely give our um, production overviewer, our hypothetical production overviewer, um, a couple different looks in terms of fish. Okay, so let's go ahead and Maybe pull the front of our model down here a little bit. Okay. Let's go ahead and select our eye and mirror this over real quick. Jump up a couple subdivision levels here so we can throw in our pupils just using the move brush, the regular move brush, alt and dragging. And I want to maybe pull those right in there. Okay, jump back and select our fish base. So he kind of looks a little bit um, maybe drunk or surly with that sort of uh, pointed nose. Let's go ahead and bring our image back here. Scale our fish down. And we're going to go ahead and mask out the area uh, where we want that mouth. And go ahead and just size up the, the brush here a little bit. That's going to be a little bit too large. And we'll just mask there. Go ahead and invert that mask. Grab our Damien standard. And we will try and cut in the mouth a little bit here. Maybe try to make them a little um, look a little more sad. Okay, so we'll just refine this a little bit take that mask off. Go ahead and pinch that up. Oh, that was too much. Throw a little bit of inflate here on the top lip. Maybe even a little bit on the chin. So he sort of has like a protruding chin there. Okay, so let's just continue working here. And maybe we can fatten that chin up here at least a little bit more on the sides. 
let's grab our pinch and give ourselves a small brush see if we can't refine that chin shape a little bit more let's go in and refine our eye shape just a touch more here we have the the facial anatomy that we're going to be happy with here let's go ahead and jump up to subdivision level 5 here and let's go ahead and um, retopologize real quick because I want to make sure that I do get a, a decent UV onto the character here before we um, add our scales and anything. So go ahead and just duplicate this model. Turn everything off here. Come down to our geometry tab. We're going to remesh this. And this is definitely going to go ahead and take a little bit of time here. Okay, so with our initial Z remesher done here, let's take a look at our polyframe and we're going to go ahead and cut this in half for sure because this is way too high uh, to throw in the roadkill um, I do not believe there they would even actually load inside of roadkill at this level of um, poly and so we definitely need to go ahead and cut this down and we can probably even cut this down as well this would load inside of um, roadkill but the feedback would probably be a little bit slow so let's go ahead and cut this in half one more time and this is definitely really good so we can go ahead and throw this out to our desktop real quick and I'll just open up roadkill here go ahead and load our model in just hit E to make sure I can select an edge you can see that it selects all the way around the model. Hit C to go ahead and cut that. And this is fine because once I jump back into ZBrush, I'm just going to unfold that UV anyway. I just want to make sure that I have a um, base UV to go ahead and unfold instead of unfolding with no UV. So let's go ahead and append a sphere here. We'll go ahead and import that mesh. jump up a couple subdivision levels there. I'll go ahead and UV master this. And you can see that that doesn't take a whole lot of time to go ahead and do. So we'll jump back to our tool menu here. Jump up to subdivision level 4. Just move this up in the stack and we will go ahead and project our mesh here at point one so we really do capture all that detail so it's basically just the same process um, repeated a couple times okay let's go ahead and turn off our polyframe here and this is looking pretty good so maybe let's just go ahead and clean up the side there a little bit just making sure that you uh, return on your symmetry Let's jump up to subdivision level 5 here and take a look at our poly count real quick. Uh, so 414,000. Um, we can probably even jump up to subdivision level 6 to go ahead and add these scales. Um, so let's go ahead and paint out our masked area here where we aren't going to be adding scales. Okay. Let's go ahead and paint this mask out real quick. to go ahead and paint here on the side for this one 
just trying to be careful that I don't uh, paint any portion of the body here. Oh, I want the fins. Okay. And I definitely need to clean that up just a little bit. Okay. And jump down a couple subdivisions levels so I can blur that mask out. And we will go ahead here and jump over to our surface noise menu. Go ahead and bring an alpha in real quick. And let's go ahead and uh, maybe try a different scale pattern here. Let's see how these rocks look. Because we're just going to, you know, layer the effect anyway, so let's go ahead and see how this looks. Maybe turn the scale down here a lot. Okay. And yeah, probably have to scale it down just a little bit more there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and apply this to the model. Let's go ahead and throw on an alpha on top of this as well. And maybe we'll go ahead here and use the reptilian skin. Just changing that size down a little bit here. Just to give us a little bit of uh, different variation. Let's go ahead and hit OK there. We'll go ahead and apply that to the mesh. And I'm just trying to get a bunch of different interesting looks to this mesh. And we'll throw one more noise modifier on here. And we'll use this 7693 to throw on top. And we're going to scale this down not so much. But we want to make sure that we don't get any seam here because you can see the seams. So there you can't see those seams. And maybe we'll turn the intensity down just a little bit more. Okay, so we now have three different versions um, and scale patterns on the model. Giving us that um, real complexity that is fish, fish scales. Go ahead and apply that to our mesh. Okay, go ahead and invert our mask real quick and we'll go ahead and sculpt out our fins and we're just going to use our rake brush that we've been using turning the focal shift down turning the intensity down and that's too intense so we definitely have to go down a little bit more there definitely have to thin that area out a little bit and that's fine. Uh, we can just simply do that with the move topological brush as usual. I'm just doing a, a rough pass here real quick. grab our alpha so we can throw that into the mix and we'll alt click and run through here real quick trying to really give that a little bit extra complexity Let's 
go ahead and grab our standard brush. Just make sure that we reselect that alpha, spray it, and we're going to go ahead here and throw some spray on here to get those veins in there. And I'm just, you know, doing a very quick stroke just so that it um, doesn't really build up in any areas. Okay, so let's go up here and thin this out a little bit. So we'll just jump down to subdivision level three, grab our move topological, and we'll just thin that out a little bit in there. Clear that mask off. Let's go ahead and jump up to subdivision level six here and take a look at our model. Okay, so this is looking um, really nice and you can see in about 26, 27 minutes where we can uh, really go ahead and get our last concept piece out here. Okay, so in the next lesson we're going to go ahead and come back and I'm going to show you a method that I like to use um, when presenting these models and we're just going to be reusing materials that um, I've shown how to go ahead and create in another tutorial uh, which is going to be up on the website and it's going to be presenting your gray renders inside of ZBrush and Maya so we're going to use that method to go ahead and render these out and um, go ahead and present all these models to our project manager so come on back